Hey, and welcome to Good Morning Sunshine, where we wake up to see that perspective reveals miracles. I'm Callie Carroll, your host, and today we're taking it back in time to one of my many live videos that I used to do before podcasting was really a thing. Don't mind the authenticity and the, you know, maybe extra studio sounds. I have four kids, so it gets a little crazy. But here's the deal. I'm hitting you up as my authentic self, reminding you that none of us are perfect. None of us are perfect. And life is crazy, hectic, amazing. So just enjoy the ride. Good morning, sunshines. Callie Carroll here. Thank you for joining me. Um, We're going to talk about extraordinary, the word, and all the meanings around it today. If you are new here, we jump on and we say good morning, sunshine, or hashtag GMS. What are you grateful for this morning? That's the second thing that we comment on. I am extremely grateful for extraordinary, which is what we're going to talk about today. But you guys go down to the basic things. Like I'm grateful that Jace brings me home empty Starbucks cups so that I can have to gozies wherever I go with my lemon almond tea that I make at home. Super grateful for that. You're thinking, wow, she drinks Starbucks every day. Nope. This is just my protein tea. I know I'm wacky. Okay. Extraordinary. First, let me tell you a story because this is how we often do this. Yesterday was an interesting day. It's like, I feel like God is just continuously giving me content to share. Like, he's like, you know what? I'm going to give you something good to share. So we're going to evacuate the hospital while you're in the hospital at Kaiser going to Quincy's appoint- like appointment. Like, that's going to be interesting, right? Non-dangerous. Nothing's like, not, like n- nothing really big there, but at least you're going like, to be activated. That's going to be weird. And then, like, let's go ahead and, like, throw influenza A at Quincy so that things are just a little bit interesting. So every day you wake up and you're like, am I going to the hospital today? Am I not? Am I going to have a hospital stay? Am I not? Do I have my bags packed? Yes, I do. Like, those types of things, right? He's just super interesting. And then the afternoon rolls on, right? And I I did a post saying how blessed we are and just how grateful I am for our situation because we are able to separate so that Quincy's with my parents and he's over there being taken care of. And yes, I go back and forth and take care of him and wash my hands and do all the things. But in general, we're able to keep the boys separate. So I'm with Witt and John yesterday afternoon. Mind you, this is after round seven of his clofarabine chemotherapy. He's been connected to the drip for whatever, 11 hours over Monday and Tuesday. And Wednesday afternoon, we had the most extraordinary day. And by that, you guys, I mean, it was so normal that I like I had to catch myself like, wow, this is wild. Like he's outside just playing, not whining not crying. He's not, he doesn't, he's not accessing his port. So I'm not like watching to make sure that he's not going to rip this device out of his body. So he actually gets to play. And then a couple of really special things happen. He took off his footsie pajamas. You guys, if you haven't watched me, you're like, what are you even talking about? He has been obsessive about footsie pajamas for about four or five months now where he will wear nothing but, and they have to be the exact ones. Doesn't matter the temperature, the heat, anything that's going on. He's like connected to these things. And if I try to like cut off his arms so his arms are showing, he's like, (gasps) and he like freaks out that his arms are showing, but he took off his pajamas. My babies, if you guys haven't followed also, are kind of free range chickens. We have their property, like let's just run around, right? So so he's actually running around in his little nakey butt in the sand pit, playing on the sand, like the, the swing set, playing with the swings, just having fun, jumping on the tramp. So extra ordinary, AKA normal. It's just normal. This is what we used to do. And then we come inside for the evening and he actually takes a bath without throwing an ever loving fit, which is what he's been doing for the last month on account of all the sicknesses and the chemo and everything going on. But he gets in the bath. Like he just, he just gets in the bath. Like where I'm sitting there and I turn on the water and he just steps into the bath. You guys, I know you're like, what's wrong with this woman? Like, that's a very normal thing. It is. It's so normal. And then as he's bathing, he's just playing like a normal kid. He's just having fun. And then, okay, get this. We get out of the bath and I make him noodles and he eats them. He ate, he ate dinner. He sat there and he ate, I don't know, almost a full bowl of noodles. And it was just the most normal, beautiful scene you've ever seen least I've ever seen. And it it brings up this reminder for those of you who are living in normalcy right now, for those of you who wake up and get to go through the normal actions of your day, there is something so extraordinary about being extraordinary. When you're living an ordinary day, wow, this is just extraordinary today. 
it is. It's just, you know, I, I got up. I felt fine. Like usual, I had my breakfast. It was right there. I was, you know, I, was, I, I got to eat breakfast. I, I, I had a car to drive to work. I went to the office. I, I did my normal duties. I got off, you know, maybe chatted with a couple friends, came home, made dinner, took the kids to their sports and went to bed. And then some of us live in that like, oh, is that boring? Like, right? Like, it's just my ordinary day. When you are no longer blessed with normalcy or ordinary, you, you crave that ordinary. Man, do you crave it. You can imagine just watching the, the chaos that is my life, life, life lately for me to just get a touch or a piece of that normal. I was like, oh, this is so beautiful. What a normal evening. And I woke up this morning. My mom came over. And I was like, you know what? We had the most ordinary day last night. It was, it was so freaking beautiful. It was extraordinary. And sometimes, have you guys ever picked apart that word before? You're like, extraordinary. Like, like why, why, why? Oh, this is extraordinary. Oh, what an extraordinary day. But you're like, why is it just extraordinary? There's a reason for that. Because there is beauty in ordinary. There is beauty in normalcy. There is beauty in just getting to be and do your life. There is beauty in getting to wake up in the morning. There's beauty to, to walk downstairs and actually have food at your fingertips to put on their table. There is beauty of walking outside and having a vehicle that you could have put a key in and just drive. You're just going to drive somewhere. Maybe you have to drive 15 minutes or an hour, but you have a car and a vehicle that enables you to do that. There's beauty in the fact that you have a job that you get to do, go to so that you can provide for your family, that you have coworkers there, that you have work to do while you're there. There's beauty that you get to come home at the end of the day to your family who is still there and still around and perhaps even still healthy. There is beauty that you get to have a meal of food with them there. There's beauty that your kids get to be in sports, that they have sports, that we're able to go to that sort of thing. There's beauty that you get to lay your head on the pillow at night in a soft bed in a room where you can open and shut your windows and turn on the fan and maybe even just have air conditioning or heat. There is so much beauty in every single one of your days. And we tend to forget that. You know, a lot of times we find ourselves lost and you're like, ah, like there's just, I don't know, like meh, like we feel, we might feel a little meh, but pausing and recognizing the extraordinary in your extraordinary can bring you more joy without even making a shift in your life at all. If you're looking for more happiness and joy in your life right now, in this minute, right after you get off this video, all you have to do is look at the extraordinary in your extraordinary. And you guys, some of you, we, I get it because I was, I've been here too. You're not going to take this on until it's taken away from you, you know? until you can't afford food, until your vehicle breaks down, until the washing machine doesn't work, until um, you lose your job, until uh, a person in your life is no longer around or is sick, until your kid doesn't want to do the sport anymore or whatever it is, you're, 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 it's like you just take it for granted, right? Because it's there. And that's, that's normal. It's, it's become normal. That's just the way that we seem to operate unless we decide to intentionally connect with the fact that our ordinary really is extraordinary. And again, you get to choose whether you don't want to do that or not do that. But I feel like this is a great reminder for you to maybe receive, maybe share, to let other people know that if you have the privilege of living an ordinary or a normal life right now, you are completely and utterly blessed. So look around you guys, smile. Good morning, sunshines. I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for such an ordinary evening yesterday. And I just was sitting there and I was smiling. And as I told my mom this morning, I was like, you know what, mom? Soon we're gonna be ordinary again. We're gonna be normal, right? Maybe even just like boring, like just, like it, that's what people use, right? Because the boring really isn't boring, but that's what you can perceive it as. Like, we're going to have that. We're going to look back and like, wow, that was like such a whirlwind and such a storm. And now we're just normal. Like my son just wears clothes and he gets in the bath and he eats food and it's so freaking beautiful. So good morning, sunshines. Thank you for being here. Commitment for the end of the day. Just commit to finding and just some sort of extraordinary in your ordinary. All right. Love you guys.
Thank you for joining, and I hope you see that perspective does reveal miracles as we decide to choose joy in our lives. If this has positively affected you at all, share with your friends, you guys. Sharing is caring, and do not forget to subscribe. We will be talking to you soon. Bye.